So I'm a primary care physician and I, I take care of patients and, and I come into these kinds of, of discussions a lot where patients come into my office and, are, and have um, a, uh, symptoms that, that suggest maybe they need an antibiotic. And a lot of times people come in and, and, and their chief complaint is, I want an antibiotic. <laughs> and uh, you know, I think that a lot of, in a lot of cases, and, and I understand that, that you know, in, in busy primary care offices, it's a lot easier for a physician to give the antibiotic rather than to sit there for 10 minutes and explain to the patient why their symptoms may not require that the antibiotic is necessary. So, I mean, what, you know, what I try to do is, is uh, I do try to have those conversations with patients and, and try to explain um, you know, the ideas of antibiotic resistance because it isn't, it isn't only an antibiotic resistance at a societal level, but it's also antibiotic resistance at the individual patient level that if you keep treating an individual patient over and over again with the same antibiotic, then you lose the, the potential for the, the potency of the antibiotic later on.